Adrian. I leave my life to you and I trust you see it through all the questions you have asked will be answered now I've passed the Adrian my honor legacy to father your mother's looking down I'll be with her, oh, so proud. The Adrian, the Sylvia, I'll be with you soon enough. In this will I leave to you my life story, clear and true. at the Scarlet Sun <laughs> by now. How <sighs> long until the next ones arrive? Around. <laughs> ten minutes. What? Ten minutes? How am I supposed to clean a room in ten minutes? I never had these issues with the last owner. I cannot believe he is in charge. His best. Give him a break. His father just down a bottle of scotch and walks right into the ocean. Do not speak ill of the dead. Hey, we do not speak ill of the dead. We speak ill of the dead son. <clears throat> I know my father was a great man, and that his recent loss is weighing heavy on us all. But I'm sure if we can work together, we can run a hotel he'd be proud of. Here, here. Thank you. And that, folks, is why we're rebranding. Today, the French papers, tomorrow, the world. Think of it. We could have gold-plated railings, a, uh, a disco lounge, or a colony of peacocks roaming the hotel. <sighs> Speaking of the papers, this is from them. It must be about advertising for the hotel. Dear Mr. Scarlet, we would like to speak to you about your father, Jeremiah, and his sudden passing. This is why your father was private. He hated the press. They're insidious. And yet now you've slapped his face on every newspaper in France. I was advertising the hotel, showing the world our story. But all people seem to want to read about nowadays is death. I miss him too, but perhaps it's best we keep his name out of the papers? Maybe you're right. You're the concierge, you know best. Uh, no, 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 let me clean the Canadian's room. Is Mr. Clark still with us? Unless you've seen him drop dead. You know, that's not what I meant. Ha! He decided to extend this stay, God knows why. 
He's at the docks right now. Is he waiting for someone? I don't care. But while he's gone, it's the perfect opportunity to look around. What happened in Zurich can't be in vain. Someone has to profit. <laughs> Quiet about Zurich. What if someone hears you? Ah, please, the hotel is our domain. It's just Adrian we need to worry about. Poor Adrian. Look, Adrian. Flowers. Again. You're kidding. Another bunch? They're stunning, but what do I do with them? California poppies. Why does he keep ordering these? Maybe he's a romantic, the sentimental type. Speaking of sentimentality, remember when Petra yelled at us for riding this down the stairs? <laughs> yeah, she grounded me for a month. We were lucky not to die from the fall. Father didn't mind. Said it built character. Uh, hey, Adrian. Now he's gone, are you sure this is what you want? I mean, Petra could always run the hotel. You've never even been off the island. My father didn't even leave a will, Milo. The hotel, everything, it falls to me. Being here is the least I could do for him right now. Jeremiah Scarlett was a bastard. See, I know you are good friends from the war or whatever, Petra, but he was a cheat, a drunk, and clearly not a very good swimmer. Dante! Oh, don't get me started on his son, all of his literal peak. Dante, around. if you wish to bore anyone with your personal business, then do so with your wife. <laughs> you mean my soon-to-be ex-wife? We've all read the will of Petra. Jeremiah knew his son and a secret lover and wrote it down. The only woman he'd have to worry about is a Ruby. I don't care if Adrian is sleeping with your wife. Somebody else do. <laughs> oh! So you have no problem with uh, spilling secrets? Perhaps about the will you hid from him? Oh. <laughs> so loyal until that comes up. Your allegiance to the Scarlet family is a sham. Oh. Oh, just finished cleaning this room. This feathered cloth, <laughs> not suspiciously. Good work, Ruby. Oh, so, any information about the woman staying in this room? No, only that it was a rather sudden booking. Any reason why you're interested? <laughs> I just really love my job and my husband. The fact that my boss just randomly drowned one night, leaving my whole livelihood in turmoil, not to mention turning my friends into people with no sense of morality or loyalty, all because... What? Because I love cleaning! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Aren't you do Jamim? Watch it, McBride. Oh! I'm so sorry, that is your maiden name. I forgot you were married. Seems like you did too. Avalyn, we oui? Stop pressuring her. She could always go to the police. Not if she wants to leave. Enough of your threats, Avalyn is putting everyone on edge. Dante's upset, Ruby's, Ruby's paranoid, and Myla has been distant, none of which is good. Whatever you say, madame. By the way, I check the rooms again. No sign of them. Keep looking. You never know what you might dig up. Whew. They don't call it the Scarlet Sun for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clark, I saw you've extended your stay. Enjoying the weather? I am, and all of your lovely service. <laughs> Shall I make a suggestion? Dinner on the esplanade, music by the beach, oh, a massage at the spa. A night in, I'm afraid. A shame. Oh, your flowers came in. Again, you expecting company? Who'd want to be alone in a place like this? I didn't take time off work just to be by myself. And where do you work? Interpol. I'm a detective. Dante! Did you hear that? A detective in the hotel. Matter of fact, I'm uh, working on a case. 
this case of wine right here. <laughs> hey, oh, okay, all right, all right. I'm a funny guy. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, all right. All right. Oh, very funny, sir. See you later. All right, thank you. Interval. Here? Why? Ow. Stay calm. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, Jenny, get in here. This place is gorgeous. Reminds me of someone I know. <laughs> oh my god, did you guys know you've rented cars down at the docks? I actually drove it myself usually. I'm a chauffeur. <laughs> Amber, you nearly ran that poor woman off the road. <laughs> And then your favourite colour too. My, what great service. Now, who do I talk to about getting into our room? Uh, that would be me. Hello, welcome to the Scarlet Sun. I just need your name and passports. Mr and um, soon to be Mrs. Jaden Quill. She'll be in one of the upstairs suites. We'll be uh, needing the privacy. <laughs> Ooh, newly engaged, I see. Congratulations. And your passport, miss? Oh. Ooh. I think I've heard of you. <laughs> and the Davies. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well get some sun. They don't call it the Scarlet Sun for nothing. <laughs> Amber. Jasper. My, what a coincidence. Hang on. Jasper Clark. <laughs> You're that detective that Amber used to date. She's told me so much about you. <laughs> and you are? Jaden Quill, finance broker at RGM and Amber's fiance. Ah. So, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I'm uh, working on a case. And that case is. Why, you and I haven't seen each other in so long. Why, it's criminal. Oh, I've just been so busy with my acting career and with my fiancé. Mm, congratulations. Thank you. We met... In London, the West End. It was quite romantic. He saw me in one of my shows and became instantly enamored. I waited around the side with some flowers and asked if she wanted to get dinner. <sighs> Speaking of flowers, did you see the... Uh, the ones at the... reception? Oh, my favorite! <laughs> oh, well, the I staff actually... are just so wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, quite. <laughs> I told you, be careful on the cobblestone. For God's sake, girl, you're a carer, not a bartender. So stop mixing me about like a martini. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Gold. You're simply so aged. I must took you for vermouth. Oh, oh, what? Watch the... Oh. There, you did it again. Good evening. Can I carry anything for you, ma'am? Yes, this old bag right oh, here. Oh, Hello, and welcome to the... Yeah, oh. that's Miss... Formerly, Mrs. Florence Gold. Oh, Miss Gold? My, what a coincidence. <laughs> Mr. Quill. Ugh, it's you. Is a business? No, 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 no. Actually, I'm with my fiance. So, pleasure, then. <laughs> Jaden, who is this? This is Miss Gold, Chief Director at RGM Corporations. Famous socialites and the world's leading woman in human rights violations, 10 years running. So we could just see the owner and get to our rooms, please. That'd be grand. Hello, esteemed guests. My name is Adrian Cornelius Agate Scarlet, and welcome to the Scarlet Sun. But by my recently late father, Jeremiah Scarlet, a man of mystery, a man of collapse. A man of no depth perception. <laughs> <laughs> but now the hotel is in the public eye and entering a new era. My late mother birthed me within these very walls, so it's an honor to have you stay here with us. We hope you enjoy your time here. At my dead parents' hotel. <coughs> Bravo, nothing quite like a soliloquy. <laughs> Reminds me of one of your performances. Uh, thank you. Now, you all seem well acquainted. How do you know each other? Oh, well, we met in California. It was a long time ago, like a long time ago. that Mrs. Stoney works with Mrs. Florence Gold. He said it'd make me partner, but he doesn't have the power. So he said to meet the business owner. 
for the exposure. So while I'm here, I think it reasonable I get to and know her. They miss the quill, a sick of fan with just one skill persistent to get on the board, but really just to get his bill at RGM. My husband's business, my late husband's business. Yes, it's a mining business, but I'm not here for business. Isn't it so monumental to see people we know from home? Isn't it so very strange, my dear? We thought we found somewhere remote. Hang on, very on. I am so something funny's going on. I knew an officer named Mr. Clark Detective. Now he's very smart. We met in California when I was in performing arts. And now we've reunited. I feel a little slighted. And next and fiance who me, well, you must be delighted. I don't want to seem judgmental. <laughs> Maybe we should just move on. Clearly she means no harm. She's simply remembering a time now gone. Isn't that great? Oh, so great. How much fun. Something funny's going on at the Scarlet Sun. I know the Scarlet family is so well, and now his son runs the hotel, and now I'm morally corrupt and afraid I'm going straight to hell. Now I betrayed his father. I do not mean to bother, but don't you think it's weird that all the guests, they know each other? They make a weird sentence. Isn't it a midnight? Assuming we're here by circumstance, I find it somewhat hard to believe. The five of us all are brave. If only one of us would leave. Hmm. Nobody is here by chance. Everybody here is up to something. Playing in the song and dance. Look around, something's bound to go wrong. Something funny's going on at the Scarlet Sun. Uh oh. Seems like we're all celebrating something. Shall I suggest dinner? Excellent well, yeah, idea. Yeah, we could. I don't really want to pay know. for Rose or You might need an early night, own... mate. I'm not sure. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I thought your uh, carer would assist. No, she's not joining. Let her earn her supper. Oh. So, is this everyone then? Seems like it. Five names, five people. Uh, one for Jasper Clark. One for Gold, two for Jaden Quill, and one for Alexandra Knight. They must be here then. What? Well, for God's sake, I don't work here. Can someone please help me? Oh, of course. Adrian, one moment. What is it? It's about the others. They're plotting something. But now that the guests are here, I can fix it. Still, watch your back tonight. They're observing our every move. I mean, Dante's under the impression that we're having some kind of an what? affair and... That's ridiculous! I'm just trying to tell you the truth. You have no idea what they're starting to do to me. Wow, how romantic. What is a married man to think? It's just a tie, Dante. Well, you're clearly not tied down. 
Okay, Ooh, I just go. need to go check on something. Who'd want to be tied down to a selfish, greedy, arrogant... I told them about the will, Evan. What if I did? What would you do about it? Oh, Ruby, this could change our lives. I know it could, but Adrian deserves to know the truth about his father. Oh, and I don't deserve something, huh? Loyalty! <laughs> Loyalty? How's your favorite bottle of wine doing? Did, did, did you say one word about that? And what? And the others will kill us. Don't you see, Ruby? This could be our chance. If you don't want to do it for yourself, can't you do it just for me? Over my dead body. <laughs> Uh, don't you have an assistant or uh, something? Oh, that stupid girl's always wandering off somewhere. You young people have no attention spans. Mm -hmm. what? Uh, what? 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 What was that? I, I wasn't listening. Uh, just roll me. Uh. Rose, where have you been? I've been trying to speak to a staff member for like thirty minutes. How hard is it to just speak to the owner? As if I were deaf enough already. Keep doing that and my ears will start to bleed. <clears throat> okay, both of you, please stop that. Why is no one here? I'm telling you, this hotel's a mess. Get this, the owner's a fucking maid who happens to be the bartender's wife. I can't believe we have to come here. Well, at least there's entertainment. <laughs> entertainment? All the TV and radio here is in French, but this, I understand. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, some staff. Will you please help these two ladies? They've been waiting. Are you looking for something, uh, Madame et Mademoiselle? Yes, the food and dinner today was deplorable. I could practically taste the poverty on my tongue. And what is with this place? It's just so dull, so dim, so depressing. It's like somebody died in here, and it's... Somebody did, like a month ago. <laughs> well, unless you want another person dead, I suggest you change your attitude. Hey, if you want to go ahead and die because of my attitude, I won't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In regards to the real issue, there's been a mistake with our room. Ah, oh, mon dear, the thing that Adrian was supposed to do. <laughs> I cannot help. It is best you find him or the concierge. He is not cut out for it, is he? Running his father's hotel? If you were my son, I'd be glad I were dead. <laughs> if Adrian were your son, he'd be glad you were dead too. Oh, you thing. I'm gonna kill someone, Milo. It's just too much. I mean, Ruby's gone crazy. How could you throw away a wedding ring? But also, she said people think I'm having an affair with her. Why would they think that? Well, you do sneak into staff members' bedrooms at night. <laughs> hey, I'm Rekka. Reception. <laughs> I've never had such good sex on the beach. <laughs> the cocktails weren't bad either. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad she took time off work to come here. Well, not always strictly business. I'm glad. So, tomorrow, I was thinking we do something a little less cliche. How do you feel about skydiving? Amber, you do always have a flair for the theatrics, but tomorrow, I think I'd prefer my feet on the ground. Besides, I have some paperwork. I told you not to bring that stuff with you. We're supposed to be relaxing, swimming, playing tennis. You said this holiday would just be about us. And it is. Just some things are unavoidable. Let's go to bed. I'll join you shortly. I'm going to head back to the beach for a bit. So, so sorry, ma'am. I'm sure I made all the correct considerations. You're in a room 204 next to the Canadian fellow? My assistant and I are supposed to share a room together. But the room that we got only has one bed. Well, people think. Two 
two women sharing a bed? <sighs> oh my God, you're traveling together. I'm so sorry. It seems Miss Gold here only booked for one. Of course she did. This is why I should have done the booking. Your staff, I assume they give you a supply closet or something. I actually uh, booked her in as someone else. Someone who clearly isn't here yet. I know what I do. I'll move you to room 106. Oh, it's excuse. just here and it has a lovely view oh, of the beach. Excuse me. Jasper? Oh, uh, Amber. <clears throat> Where's Jaden? <laughs> he turned himself in. Oh, for what crime? Very funny. How's work? Well, I'm not a junior detective anymore. In fact, I now work at Interpol. Dangerous. The stock market's about all the danger Jaden can handle. Well, if uh, excitement's what you're after, maybe you should have stayed in California. Like the old days? I know you're missing a danger The things that we used to do I understand cause I'm feeling the same But now times have a change But I wonder if you're missing me too I know that we seem like strangers <laughs> I'd hardly say that about you <laughs> I still remember the wildest day I still visit LA Our apartment with the sunset view It's only just a dream away Stay only just a dream away. A love that I know never fades. <laughs> but now I'm famous detective. Mr. Clark, and I'm a famous performer. To the stars. Guess we're both living our fantasy lives. But now you've arrived. It seems I miss the way that it was. Only just a dream away. Dancing in the moonlight's rays. Only just a dream away. Like a memory here to stay. We played music all night that the neighbors couldn't handle. We broke your grandmother's urn, having sex on the mantel. We got chased by police in the night. Yes, we ran till the sun came up for you and for me. We tried to have that threesome, but we couldn't agree. Now we are only just a dream la, 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 la. When we lived in disarray la, 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 Then I joined the theater Then I joined the force I happily remember But there's no remorse Only just a dream <laughs> that relationship seems unhealthy. Yeah. yeah. Can they get a room? Oh, oh my god. Oh. There you are, Miss Gold. That's all of your luggage. About time. Mr. Scarlet, your bellboy oh. found this in 204.
Laundry? Midnight? Uh, I'm sure that's nothing important. It's just um, for the maids. From Petra. Well, that isn't my job. Shall we go to bed? <laughs> In a moment. I'll just return this. Petra, I don't know what this is, but Adrian saw it. Laundry. Midnight? Is this yours? Hmm. Must be from Adrian. A little late night rendezvous with my wife. Unfaithful women. Am I right? What? <laughs> I rented a car, but this crazy orange woman drove me off the road, and I crashed. What a night for it. Speaking of, the name's Knight, Alexandra Knight. Miss Knight, you're finally with us. You've caused quite the booking nightmare. I'll just need your passport. Naturally. You know, I also had quite the trouble finding this place. <clears throat> My apologies. Do you have a permit for that? Oh, yes, I do, actually, yes. Well, try not to kill anyone with it, then. You're in room 204, upstairs. Efaristo. The will! It's not here. It's not in my room. Where? Odd. Very odd. She's okay, right? Oh. She's okay. She's dead. <gasps> oh, God. Ruby, did she have an accident? Yeah, she accidentally got murdered. Murdered? Well, we don't know it was murder. But this many stab wounds. Stab wounds? I just found that you're putting. Oh, I don't even want to think about what the blood's going to do to the bitchy. Oh, the bitchy! Oh, would you shut up, woman? Okay, this is a crime scene. Everyone needs to leave. Who do you think you are, Missy? I'm the detective, and right now I've got a case. This case right here. 
Several socialites have a ball and then a body hits the floor. So it's my job to figure out who done it. In the laundry lies a maid. Oh, no one warned me while I stayed that all my plans to just relax would plummet. Now this may be a shock to you, this may be a thriller, but someone at the Scarlet Suns, a killer. And it's as probable and dubious and truly inconspicuous and obvious as it can be. We got an obvious I was in bed the entire night. She saw me, so you know I'm right. <laughs> I was in the bath, and I saw nothing. He saw nothing. I was in bed by 10 o'clock. I came out when I heard a shot. Came. That was me. Well, why'd you bring a gun in? Why'd you do it? I was in my room all night. We were both together. I was nowhere, there's no doubt. And I saw nothing whatsoever. So no one is suspicious or perhaps a bit fictitious in the lies they tell ambitious. We got an obvious criminal. Wait a minute. I've just had an idea. I'll impress her. If I solve the crime and I save the day, then our dream away is no longer a dream, but reality. Oh, there's a purpose, oh pernicious, they're a villain, oh so vicious, murdering the maid maliciously. We got an obvious criminal. I'll find a way to find you out and then you'll go down. You obvious criminal. Now get out and for God's sake, somebody call the police. Right. Right, I'll get onto that pronto. I'll do that. You go Back take care of any loose ends. Huh? Luxury. Oh, get out of here, really. You think you're doing Amber. Amber. You're too bad. Oh, Amber, maybe. Amber. Step away from that one. Okay, all right. Okay, get out of there. Okay. All right. October 13th, 1974. I enter the laundry to find the body of the maid. I thought I made myself clear. You need to leave. Then perhaps I should make myself clear. I'm not going to. Well, well, well. A private eye. And you, detective? Who hired you? That's confidential. And that's suspicious. <clears throat> I got a phone call from a woman. She talked about some conspiracy going on in the hotel. Uh, don't you think it's a little dangerous to follow something so vague, especially traveling as a lone woman? A little son never killed anyone. Oh, uh, skin cancer? Oh. <laughs> then take note. This murder happened sometime between 11 and 1.30. A jab in the throat to keep her quiet and three stabs in the back to finish her off. Also, the maid's key is missing. Possibly stolen. Possibly. But it wasn't a perfect crime. The assailant was panicked. How can you tell? Well, because if they weren't, they would have noticed this. She drew this using her own blood. Look at her finger. Stained, broken nail. An A could mean a lot. The beginning of a sentence, a symbol, <laughs> the, the name. The name of our killer. <laughs> and look at this. Another scarlet letter, in a sense. <laughs> Here's the last will and testament of one Jeremiah Scarlet. Dear Adrian, blah, 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 blah. In this will I leave to you my life story clear and true. He's picking like a butter knife. Is a butter knife that's been really angry to like get it in that far. Right? Jeremiah Scarlet. Did any of you know who he was? My father? My boss? My friend. The, the owner? 
But did any of you know who he really was? In 1948, a group known as the Zurich Force stole millions worth of diamonds from a Swiss bank. So what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Wasn't that like 26 years ago? Yes, exactly. Jeremiah Scarlett was one of those four, the one they never caught. This is now officially an Interpol investigation. No one is to leave the country, the island, the hotel. I'm about to solve our longest cold case. Questioning begins now. Starting with you, Scarlet. All right, now clear off. Get out of here. Scarlet, wrong road. It'll be okay, Adrian. All right, I think I've got some ideas. Detective, I'm freaking out. The hotel's already been struggling, and now nobody's gonna want to come here now that somebody's been murdered. I wouldn't want to come here. Oh, God, Ruby was so lovely. Who would want to hurt her? Cut the shit, Scarlet. A little birdie told me you'd been having an affair with the murder victim. What? Really? I can't believe you would fall for such baseless rumors. Oh, yeah? Then how can you explain the bloody red A Ruby decided to draw before she died? Uh, no, I, uh, I, I don't... And where were you last night? I was in my room. Alone. <laughs> and have you ever seen this will? I thought father didn't leave one. That he left me the hotel with nothing to say. He did stuff like that. He was elusive. I guess we now know why. The woman he was having an affair with kept his father's will from him? Now that's quite a motive. But we don't know it was him. But accounting for the bloody red A, A stands Avalyn, for... Avalyn, Amber, it also might not be a name. <sighs> Adrian, I'm sorry for lying to you all these years, but you've kept secrets too about your lover. I beg you to not live your life in hiding like me. The diamonds, the ones I stole from Zurich, they're hidden in a memory. Take them. I can't read any more of this. Okay. I'm gay. I'm closeted. And it's the 70s. <laughs> How do I express my feelings? Cue the disco! <laughs> In this will you spill your secrets clear and true And how you killed it doesn't feel real to me You took my mother's name, that Scarlet I claim that that was bizarre But now it makes sense, I see You robbed the bank, stole a few frank and diamonds While they were killed, you set for new horizons Dear Adrian, my honor, a legacy to father, but what do you think he means? What was your plan? Did you want everyone to know? What was your plan? I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. Who are you? Hey, your father, the opposite. In your mind! <laughs> You've seen us in the newspaper. And now we're here live in disco. It's so strange you were so accomplished. How'd that change? As kids come He was the lucky guy. Cause he came out alive. Jeremiah, he was hot dead. FBI Interpol confronted. Anyone with connections to the crime. So I'm the sign of an on the run criminal. Obviously, but he was fine and his love was unconditional. We love him. Dear Adrian, I love you and I know about your love, but I hate to see you hide like this. Was this your plan? You knew about my low and I. I give up my alibi. Now in the section you've written, the diamonds are hidden somewhere in the hotel. What the hell are you thinking? What, what the hell are you thinking? thinking? Say I know where to find them. Read all the writing. Listen and you'll know. I don't know what I'm doing. What do you mean? What do you mean? Come on! Come on! 
dear Adrian, they're here in a memory, just, just listen. Well, Dad, I'm listening. What was the plan? What is the plan? I have no, no idea, idea where they are. are. No idea. So the diamonds in the hotel somewhere. Find them in the hotel somewhere. Diamonds in the hotel somewhere. Find them in the hotel somewhere. Oh, now, nobody's allowed in their rooms. Great. So you think we're guilty? Really? Amber, please! Officer, tell us, who is that night woman? She seems to be a private investigator. Her story checks out. Clark's getting her to help with the investigation. Oh, who cares about this case? She's just a maid. She died doing what she loved, laundry. <laughs> and the owner. Speaking of. Are you checking his room, too? Enough! I'd like to speak to the manager! Yeah. Of, of Interpol? Yes. Mr. William Higgins. Get him on the phone right now! You know him? <sighs> of course. It ain't my first time at the rodeo. I keep tabs. They're not letting you in your room, either? Oh, it's horrible how they're treating you. But since we've got a bit of time, maybe we can uh, talk business. Who can talk business when there's a mystery afoot? Who cares? You people only think about yourselves. This isn't about us. It's about... Uh, Mr. Garnetta, was it? Are you all right? My condolences about your wife. Oh, grazie, signora. You're the first person to say that. Oh, yeah, so sorry. Must be really stressed. I mean, first the police show up, and now it turns out there's a P.I. A P.I. Yeah. Good to know. And you mentioned that. Oh, geez, how many times have you said you're going to kill yeah, someone? Uh, no wonder they're suspicious. Oh, you fucking weird. Good this gets huh? any worse. All the more reason to get our story straight. Jesus, the situation's changed. And nothing's changed. We just say nothing about the Zurich Four. Or Jeremiah. Or the diamonds. Or the will. Come so in. We're fine. fine. Come in. She could ruin it and doom it all for us. In one minute we are cursed. However, can I trust you all when... Shut up! You need to keep your head. Now that one of us is dead, we need to make a plan for this end. Then what if they already know that we've read the will and hid it so that would implicate us in the crime? So we're going to have to deny. We're gonna have to lie, but isn't that a crime in itself? But what if our villain spills something about the will? Look at this hole that we've dealt. Better you had it first, then you showed us all, and now the worst. But while we wait, we're losing time. Full of sin, how will she spin the tale to win the game? The blame game. So. Head maid. Oui, it's yours now. And you found her body. Oui, I was just doing laundry. It was quite a shock. And did you see anything last night? Well, I know that Mr. Scarlett was not in his room. How do you know that? Um, I was in his room, cleaning. After hours. <laughs> so it wasn't just one maid in his bed. Adrian has a habit of sneaking out in the night, probably to see Ruby. I was just making good use of my time to clean more. Uh-huh. And then what? Someone came in. I hid in the closet while they entered the ensuite. I didn't see who, but I must assume it was Adrian. Okay, who's next? Last night I was in Adrian's room. Oh, so that was you. I saw you running down the stairs. That's because someone came in. 
must be Adrien. I can only guess that he was there. So we blame it on him. Scarlet is so dim-witted, he can't hide his affair. But what if Milo doesn't take? Milo knows something we don't. Him and Adrian are close. <gasps> what if he told him about the rules? If had no chance of finding them, all of the diamonds. <laughs> what? Oh. Damn. Can't you see? Milo's about to betray us. For Adrian, so I would say thus that the boss of them should take the fall. So what's he gonna do when they ask him for the truth? Is he gonna come through or play the blame game? So, bellboy. Yep, that's me. Been here since I was born. Literally born here. And did you have much connection with the deceased? Uh, we were friends. I live here, so I'm friends with everyone. So where were you last night? In my room. Alone. Do you know where Adrian was at the time of the murder? Yes. I mean, in his room. I assume. Uh, do you know anything about his affair with Ruby? Yes, but no, I... Why does everyone think that there's an affair? Because Adrian's stupid father couldn't help but mention in the will how... You've read the will? Uh, the will... What will? Who's will? Will I what? Uh, shut it! How have you read the will? I can't! <laughs> Fine. If you want to help us, maybe one of your co-workers will. Ruby's gone! Oh my god! How dare you suggest that I'm a suspect? You've threatened all of us for so long. How important is the plan that you kill someone to keep them quiet? Don't try it! Milo might be right! Oh, this accusation is ridiculous! You're forgetting who's not in this room. Mid pride at a groom who felt a little envious. You're right! No alibi at night. The motive for spite. A marital fight. But it's, it's too, too obvious. obvious. Our conspiracy remains. We must stop this madness and refrain from falling victim to this plight. To make concerns, concerns, the, the tables, tables they turn, and we have to learn to play the blame game. So, bartender. See, seven years now. Can you describe the relationship you had with your wife? She was my wife. And? We used to be happy. She used to be faithful. Oh, is that why her ring's missing? See, it'll be thrown away in a fit. Would you describe your wife as feeling threatened? Oh, uh, wouldn't you like to know, Signorina P.I.? How do you know that I'm a P.I.? I thought that people like you tried to prevent murders. I guess you arrived just a little too late. That's enough. We know you've read the will. How? Jeremiah's wish was for the will to be solicited by his closest friend. Take a guess. Why are you telling us this? Because Petra had the will, and then it was found on my wife's body. How am I to know it's not her? Thing. What did you say then? Well, I told them Petra at the wheel. What? Why would you say that? Petra has our back. I couldn't wait until... Until what? what? Until she turns on us. So, Concierge. Since 1950, Jeremiah got me this job. Where did you meet him? I was a mechanic in the army. Jeremiah saved my life once. So you two were very close? Yes. Then you would have seen... This will. No. We know for a fact that you had it. Oh, but it was found on Ruby's corpse. Care to explain how she got a hold of it? Fine. I was keeping it from Adrian. Ruby must have stole it from my person yesterday. And you didn't notice? Not until late. That's why you were sneaking about last night. See anything? I did see Evelyn coming out of Adrian's room. And not long after, I saw a second person leave his room. That will be all, madame. It appears the four of them have known about this will for quite some time. 
There are five of them. One of them just isn't around anymore. They know I hid the will from Adrian. They know I'm looking for the diamonds. They know my wife fit an affair and lie. But they don't know I'm Adrian's alibi. So if, if we're, we're gonna, gonna live, live, then we're gonna, gonna have, have to give the detective the name of the blame game. That second person in Adrian's room. We have to identify them. <laughs> Please. It was obviously Adrian. You're new at this, but don't overthink things. He was in his room getting rid of the murder weapon. That's a possibility, but the police haven't found the murder weapon yet. <laughs> we should interview the guests. There's something we're missing, and I plan to find the bottom of it. Uh, uh, stop that. You don't even know how to use that I thing. I have a license. <laughs> I'll be taking that. Besides, you're a suspect. But that's what I'm saying! The guests, such as myself, are suspects. We shouldn't miss our shots. Uh, like you missed all of those shots? Listen to the expert. We need to spend our resources finding evidence on the clear culprit, Adrian. There's a lot you don't know, Clark. Oh, uh, Mr. Scarlett. Have you seen my fiance, or better yet, Ms. Gold? Oh, who knows? Wife, boss, father, you can't trust anyone unless they turn out to be criminals! Well, Ms. Gold ain't no saint, I know, but... Well, then she's probably after the diamonds! <laughs> blood diamonds, blood money, blood on my father's hands! Oh, hold on, go back. Diamonds? The diamonds are in the hotel somewhere. <laughs> Zurich? 1948? RGM? I've got a phone call to make. Quickly, look sharp. Here he comes. Knight and I would like to see Jeremiah's office. Jasper, here you are! You can't come in, ma'am. Uh, no, no, no. She's all right. <laughs> of course she is, sir. I hope the crime scene is to your liking. <laughs> um. So only when it's my turn to be interviewed. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Jasper here thinks. <gasps> Is this Joe Mai's office? Ah! I love reading about crimes and cold cases. The Zurich Four being one of them. I can't believe I get to be here. And I can't wait to tell you all sorts of confidential details right after I... <gasps> oh. You too. Look at this. <sighs> oh, French. Jasper, let me try. I've been practicing. <clears throat> Dara Nera's oh. new valleys. Oh, 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 okay, Amber. Let the Canadian read the French. Opal Whitmore of the Zurich Four, dated September 16th, 1968, dies in an Australian prison. This is old news. Why do you find so shocking? It's just risky to keep this. Cooped up here, hiding. Maybe he didn't know the fate of his accomplice. And then to keep this, who is this woman to him? What do you... Don't get conspiratorial, Alex. We've got real work to do. Come on, gang. Let's split up and look for clues. Excellent idea, Amber. Let's start over by that window. It's got a lovely view. Don't get conspiratorial, Alex. There's real work to do. <sighs> there's always a man to do what he can To say that he'll fix all the problems he can't There's always a woman who does what she shouldn't To do all the things that the man says she couldn't I am the woman and he is the man She is the woman protecting the man The man from the plan The plan from, from the, the man. man There's always a man Well, here is a link it leads me to think it's oh. you. The two of them, they did collude. Mr. Clark, let's look at this clue. There's always a man to start with a bang To stick to his guns and to act better than There's always a person like me who's observing And sticking to matters so much more concerning Murdering and death from a bank Here he is drawing a line in the sand For he is romance <coughs> There's always a man <gasps> That's the note Dante got last night! Laundry, midnight. Do you two know what this means? Well, here is a gnome that somebody wrote in oh. fact The time and place is a match For when and where the crime took place I've 
just cracked the cake. Yes, she just cracked the cake. So here is a truth that somebody knew that Ruby would be in that very room. And we'll have proof she's in me, a doom. So she hired me, the amateur sleuth, one who won't stand for murderers and detectives who forget the matter at hand. Here is a plan, do you understand? All right, Knight, we'll interview the guests. Is this going to take? Why am I getting interviewed? Oh, calm down, they'll be here soon. She really needs her medication. It's her liver. Bartender, another! Mr. Garnetta, you make him strong, I hope. How else do you think I'm going with all these accusations? What? They're accusing you? But your wife was the victim. And I'm a victim of thirst. I remember when the help used to earn their fortunes, tooth and nail. And you worked very hard waiting for your husband to die. <sighs> Cancer, the hardest worker of them all. Not as hard working as our killer. Well, you took your time. Any longer and she could have died of old age. A mercy killing with this service. Choo. So, enlighten us. Why the Scarlet Sun? I don't know, I fucking hate travel. It's how all my friends got polio. Is that why you're in a wheelchair? No, that was something else. Gross, right? You've been in the profession how long? I reckon I started at RGM about five years ago. Fate, the cruel mistress she was, brought us together. And ever since then, I have taken care of her finances, her records, Enough, her- Rose, we don't answer police questions. And we certainly will not. Have them question RGM. So what exactly does RGM RGM do? stands for Reginald Gold Mining. My late husband, Reginald himself, made the excellent decision to leave the business to me after his passing. Now we operate over 30 countries worldwide, importing oil, aluminium, iron, gold, and diamonds. Perhaps in your travels you've heard something of the Zurich Fall. <laughs> Forget about this Zurich 4 nonsense. What about the maid and her grieving husband? Solve that crime first. We already have our suspicions on one of the staff. Ugh, they're useless. It's a fast this, dead fathers, that. Ugh, they never work, they just kill each other. You can never be too careful, which is a good thing that I brought this. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, oh, calm down. I've got a permit. Mm, I feel like I've set a bad precedent. <laughs> it's not like I committed murder on a wheelchair. Besides, if the queen carries one, why can't I? I'm far more important than her. Look, if there's a killer about the hotel, you might feel safer with some self-defense. Yeah, Besides, yeah. she'll sue if you try to take oh, it off her. Fine. Just try to make sure she doesn't accidentally shoot herself with it. We don't need another body. So she gets <laughs> We found a newspaper which Miss Knight said was weird because it meant, Jaden, what are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing, honey. More paperwork? I'll be finished soon, love. Why don't you tell me a bit about that crime? <gasps> Quite a scandal, isn't it? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Okay, one of the criminals was a woman named Opal. It's yeah, kind of funny, right. isn't it? Mm, and Opal's stealing diamonds. And they're in the hotel. Yeah, and then, oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, shocking. What did you... So, so bad. What are you. Aha! I've got you now, Florence. I knew that you Thank were. You time now. The two of you are going to listen to Mr. Clark. And the other one too, I guess. Where were you last night? I was with Amber until 10, then I went to bed. I didn't see her for the rest of the night. <laughs> Why, you make me look suspicious. Uh, no, sorry, love. I'm just a bit distracted You're right okay, now. You're like looking like a suspect. Anyway, I was Jasper on the beach. Then afterwards, I went to the bar, and that's when I, had, that's when I saw the concierge. Co co Cossier. And Dante, that note that we found. Oh, and um, this might be important. At around 11 o'clock, I saw Ruby enter the laundry. Why, Why didn't, didn't you, you say, say that, that earlier? earlier? We already knew she was in there. It's not like I saw someone go in after her. She was in there all that time waiting. God, I wasn't even here to... Thanks for withholding that, Mr. Quill. That opens up the murder timeline. 
Alex, we gotta go. Woof! Being interviewed by detective in a real PI, it's so stressful, I mean... Jaden? That was close. I think they've spoken to everyone. We're in the clear. Good. No one needs to know about... RGM's connection to the Zurich Four. Mr. Quill, I've already had one interrogation today and I don't need another. You got a bit of time, love? Thought we ought to talk business. Your life's business, strictly business, and your business is strictly a bore. Take your business, not my business, and Miss Morgan will show you the door. Yes, your business is my business. It's a business I truly adore. But the business without your existence is a business I like a lot more. I will not hear a deal, my dear. Oh, darling, you won't have a choice. <laughs> Your hands are stained with blood, so in my proposal will soon have its voice. Take your business. RGN? Yes, your business. What then? And step down from your chair on the board. Just your insignis. Rose is your witness. I think not. And we'll have it all on the record. What her business? will never back down from her chair. Oh my goodness, why this rudeness? <coughs> why should I when I own the shares? Look, I know her affairs and I balance her books and I feel bad she has no concern for the places she minds or the people she hurts, but that is a bridge I have burned. My husband, his business as God is my witness Belonged to his father before him And his father before him And his father before him And his great-grandfather's golden retriever's puppy's best friend before them? Well, I called in a favor from one of your neighbors on RGM's board of directors. And then I connected. So I made a connection. Now I have your connections. Florence, I think you're forgetting something, love. Your diamonds. Yes, your diamonds. The diamonds belonging to you, Jeremiah. Oh, you're a liar. And your crimes are the leverage I'll use. Like the front end evasion, corporate infiltration, the land she invaded to have excavations. And you helped her out, so you sign this, no doubt. Don't be so devout when it's about time that you fall. The whole world will know that your crime scene glitters like gold. It's exhausting. It's an unveiled blackmail scheme. Now it's business, strictly business. Oh, good God, I should have told the police. That's your business. Risky business is our business. Strictly business. And that's how a business deal goes. Quite clever, Mr. Quill. Getting me here alone. Sending me that brochure. Now get out. Anonymous sender, 
from Zurich. What are you doing? I'm um, nothing. You're after my father's diamonds. Everybody's after my father's diamonds. Is that all you've ever been after? Why didn't we have the will? Why aren't you telling me? <coughs> Why is this drink so good? Calm down, Adrian. I'm just trying to find out who hired Miss Knight. Look, dear concerned clients, I remain anonymous for your safety. I'm booking room 204 for October 12th. See you soon. Oh, God. Ruby didn't trust any of you. I don't trust any of you. At least this is here for me. I can trust vodka. Look, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. Petra thought it best if you didn't know about any of it. We know how much you loved your father, and clearly you didn't take well to I finding out- I would have it better if you hadn't lied. Well, speaking of lying, we have an alibi. Let's tell Mr. Clark. No, we can't. Why not? This murder is international news. My father was a bank-robbing, murdering, bank-robbing murderer. And his son is a homosexual. Yep. Which is probably worse. God, think of what they'll say about my family. I'll lose my home. I'll lose the hotel. I don't even want to know where I would go. What do you even want the diamonds for? I was left here as a kid. Do you think I want to spend my whole life here? I need money to leave, to have a life beyond being a goddamn bellboy. If you hate it here that much, then just leave. Meanwhile, I'll try to stay here and salvage the Scarlet Knave. Wow. Evelyn, why are you so adamant about Adrian? You see, Madame, the Scarlet said everything I haven't. Money, cash, riches. Oh, his family walked around like they owned the place. They do own the place. You want him dead for that? Oh, Andy killed my friend, but enough about Ruby and more about me and you. We? We. Yes, we. Well, you see, madame, this morning I was doing my normal routine. I brush up my air, moisturize, and put on my phone now. Fake pearls. <laughs> and on my way to the laundry, who do I see? Me. We? Oui? Us? No, you! And it makes me think, was it Petra with a knife in the laundry? No, 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 but I did see her make her way to Adrian's room and I wonder why. I know you are trying to protect him, madame, but you will get no thanks, no mercy. For now is not the time for mercy. <sighs> If Adrian is gone, we can focus on the diamonds. <laughs> Think about it, Petra. If I were tripping in shoes, baby, I wouldn't have to do a thing you'd see. I'd be covered in emeralds and pearls like a fashion book girl. Rubies and rhinos and Not mean to interrupt, but Avalyn, you're out of line. I need to stop. Quit while you're ahead and let it simmer down. Wait until the culprit has at least been found. Oh, you can beg me now, but I won't throw in my doubt. No, I will not be his mate, because I'm under bed and soon I'll be rich in every. But darling, it's evil. The risk is out to wait for life's so rigor. 
Adrian is young as he is hot at times. I must admit he often has an empty mind. But him and Milo really are the best of friends. If I betray the family, how will this end? I was flipping in Jules Petra, silk satin and fur, etc. I'd upset friends of a fair life would finally be fair. So tell me what did you find? Perhaps a blot in blue, a red herring or two. The murder weapon that they dream use. It's tempting, but I just can't. Why can't you let it go? When I was just a little girl in Paris, my family had a very high position In money, class and more But then there came the war that life So when they died I made myself a promise Our status retained was my ambition We but darling, all I need is a knife Is the knife The knife When we are dripping in jewels, baby When we'll be bought by bourgeoisie Or if one shall so long salute I shall bid you adieu, bon voyage, madame, let's see the food. All we have to do is be the crime, on a kid without a lullaby. Scarlet, so sorry, my dear, but the options are clear, and without you, Jaden, where have you been? Oh, sorry, love. I guess we have been rather separate this whole holiday. Yeah, I need to talk to you. You brought something up earlier, something about diamonds in the hotel. Ruby hired Miss Knight. She was planning on spilling. How much does Miss Knight know then? There's also something else, Dante. I really don't think that Ruby and Adrian were having an affair. Yet in Jeremiah's will, he has said, I know about your lover. It's not Petra. Avalon hates him. And it's not you or me for obvious reasons. <coughs> you two, the madame and I have a solution to rid ourselves of all suspicions. What? Come with us. What is this about Gosh. now? Excuse me, Mr. Scarlet. Do you see it? See what? They're all against me. <gasps> I can't imagine why. <sighs> Honestly, Miss Gold, he's going crazy. So, that's what we know. But what's new with you guys? Oh, nothing as of yet. Unless you can tell the whispering between the suspects, they all keep scurrying around like rats. They're all hiding something, Jasper. How long until one of them actually tells the truth? You told me that we get to spend time together alone, no business, but this whole time you're following Miss Gold? That's the only reason that you're here? Well, God! Such a bad hungry asshole sometimes! We're all born lucky, Amber, all right? 
I was adopted by me and there's like you. I need to work to make a living. And I need Ms. Gold gone. Are you so already I... gone? You already admitted to blackmail. I want to be surprised you committed other crimes. Are you accusing me of murder? God, I can't believe how naive I must have been not to see all the things that you hide. Every other minute it's Amber, baby, and it's but business till the day that you die. But how could I know? I'm a fool for thinking I should have known. You were hiding something all on your own. Like the reason we're here. Tell me why are we here? When one of us is pacing, silently debating whether they should kill us now or keep us waiting. How am I to trust you all to love you still when, when somebody, somebody is out to kill? Yes, I may run business, but not the kind of business that sees somebody starting affairs. A dangerous obsession, just stranging our relationship, but maybe that's the reason he's here. Is this what I get? What I get for giving all that I get? Well, then I'll be leaving. I would object. I'll just leave you to be. It's not like that. Well, you could have fooled me. Don't go any further, you're the one that hurt her. Why don't you get back to trying to solve the murder? I don't care for threats you make. Well, soon you will, for somebody, somebody is out to kill. Yeah. Come on then, Clark! <laughs> Someone tell me what's going on. Why the commotion? What's gone wrong? Mr. Quill, please settle down. Violence won't help you now. How ironic from my killer, how come I go when you killed her? How dare you, sir, a murderer, and one that is so amateur. There is a criminal on the run. Well, you know what they say, like father, like son. Never come to this dismal place. Then why are you here? You invited me here. You sent me that brochure. Isn't that all part of your blackmail? Miss Gold? I followed you here! Well, all right? What you got it? Scarlet, did you see this knot? We left it just at reception, but that doesn't mean that I'm a suspect. In fact, I assume nothing from what she wrote. So somebody knew where they could find her. I saw it first, so as a reminder, many of you all saw this stupid note. I recommend that we stay quiet Don't get involved unless they require it They don't need to know whose diamonds that they stole I would accept that we stay quiet Wouldn't oppose to an early retirement Maybe then we'll have the killer exposed Adrian, I promise I covered for you honest But darling, everything was to you after I discovered the body, I thought God I had seen somebody in your room. And look what she found. We oh, 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 the murder oh, weapon. Look at it now. Blood still slipping off it. I don't know how. You won't make an arrest when the video says Adrian is guilty. Adrian is killed. He's waited for the chance and now he's murdered Ruby. Mr. Scarlet has the means and fits the bill. So you're the one who's out to kill. Adrian is out to kill. Adrian is out to kill. Is it him? We'll find a way. The man that you see, somebody that's capable of murder. When you find out it's not me, the blood will spill. For one of you is still out to kill. That's enough. Go to bed, everyone, and let the police do their business. You lot lock him up and find that master key. And congratulations, everybody. You solve nothing. I can all sleep soundly knowing somebody is. Out to kill. 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 Out to 
to kill Out to kill Out to kill If one of us is lying One of us is dying One of us is next And one of us is flying Time to find the life to steal So wait until Somebody is out Somebody is out to kill connections. You know that the diamonds are mine. You know that on that day, the Zurich 4 heist, I was there. God, it's like I can see them now. They're ghosts. That woman. It's for my child, my family. After that, it was all a blur. When I awoke, I couldn't tell the police. Not with my history. Mr. Quill shouldn't have dug up the past. Now I need to know the truth. <clears throat> Jeremiah was a criminal. Wait a minute, you're not Rose. What are you doing here? Uh, you want this wash, madame? Get out, now. Before you hear something that gets you killed, your secrets get buried with you. You are a wise woman. Merci. Ugh, the French. Now where's Rose? She better be taking her job seriously. Hello. Morning. Can you get Florence's tea? Miss Morgan, did you also struggle to sleep last night? <laughs> Me? <laughs> no. Florence snores like a bear. Even when the killer arrested, I still felt... <gasps> you should get your mind off it. Well, I'll take anything. <gasps> Do you play tennis? Uh, me? No, but I am used to serving. <laughs> I love tennis. I've been to every Open from the U.S. to Australia. I've even got my own racket that I bought at Wimbledon. Uh, God, you're rich. I can't imagine. <laughs> Rose, I need my morning tea! <laughs> Let me go see what Florence needs first, and then we can play. Uh, Mr. Diamandes, do you mind Yeah, saying I heard. Miley's not spoken to me all day. He's livid about this whole Adrian situation. Leave that down, oh, but the boys. knife, the knife, Dante. It's proof. Miley just has to come to the same realization I did. Adrian, as much as we love him, is guilty. Mm-hmm. Mm. What are you? Oh. Milo set up the tennis court. Rather gauche to be playing right now, isn't it? Look, the police don't even care. Yeah, yeah, see, see, it's a, it's a real a fucked up, you know. Uh, I got to go. Uh, uh, well, use those things to look for Avalyn. She's been gone all morning. I got it. Jaden's late riser, so I just snuck in. Oh, okay then. You too. I should have known the police would let the guests do whatever they want. I guess the loss of life pales in comparison to money. I don't think it's Adrian. Alex, the murder weapon, Adrian's letter opener, was found in his ensuite. But Ruby's master key is missing. Adrian is the owner. He already has such a key. Uh, he probably forgot it on the night. We already know the killer was in a panic. No, I know, but it doesn't make sense. The will, the key, Ruby's not. 
If the knot was for Adrian, it wasn't very discreet for established adulterers. Oh. <laughs> 40 love! Sorry, I thought my coaching might be a bit unfair. Christ! Well, I wasn't so fortunate with tennis lessons, but I am good at soccer. Should we play that next? You ladies are making quite the, uh, racket out here. <laughs> Care for some doubles? Right now, Jasper. <laughs> I might let you two have some space. Besides, if Florence waits any longer, she'll have my head. <laughs> Looks like the ball's in your court. <laughs> I know I've asked before, but can I just speak to him? And I've told you before, no. <laughs> Milo, there you are. Have you seen Evelyn? I can't find her anywhere. No, but she's a maid. Have you tried the laundry? Obviously, I checked the... Oh. Attitude? To me? You deserve it. You've sentenced Adrian all for a get-rich-quick scheme. Weren't you friends with Jeremiah? What would he Darling, think? Darling, I found the murder weapon in his room. Do you not trust me? How do I know you didn't plant it? You started this conspiracy, one I never wanted to be a part of. It's not my fault Jeremiah left you nothing. Emilio Diamandis, how dare you? After I took you in and raised you, this is the thanks I get. Why do you insist on defending a killer? You wouldn't get it. Madame Concierge. <laughs> Game set match. <sighs> oh. You are better at that uh, than I remember. <laughs> You've improved too. Now give me five. I'm just getting some water and better yet, I'm a mimosa. <laughs> Your secrets get buried with you. Rosa, are you after a drink? Yeah, give me a cold one. I need it after Florence's behavior this morning. Goddamn diamonds. Diamonds? <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry, I was just ranting. No, 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 please, no. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Got any tins? Go fish! <sighs> hey, sh should we really be doing this? Should we be watching the others? I doubt they're doing anything interesting. Mr. Clock already single handedly got a killer. What's the worst that could happen? I know it looks bad, but I didn't do it! All right? Where's everyone? What's oh, was it me? Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, my God! 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 Seditious or as a villain, Mr. Quillers, it's a crime that's really invisible. We got an obvious criminal. You try to hide your homicide, but we can all see he's an obvious criminal. The most obvious criminal. All right, now this is the crime scene, oh everybody. Can you take this oh, seriously, wow. please? I don't want to say I told you so, oh, but I... shut up! <laughs> Old woman, she still had a few years left ahead of her. I think more like a few months, but still, why would he do this? I, I didn't do it, all right? 
my door's been acting up all morning. I came out when Amber screamed and I just... Door seems fine now. Well, suddenly it's fine. I don't know. And why weren't you with her? She was with me. Miss Gold had private matters with Mr. Quill. I left her up at his store and, and then what I was the so hell? upset. I know about your diamonds come to the Scarlet Sun. Jaden, you didn't send that, did you? I don't know anything about that! Okay, buddy, let's calm down. <laughs> Where is Avalyn? Oh, she better not be dead, too. All right. This is ridiculous. I can wheel it in. Okay. Okay. It's got to be you. This is not a joke! Detectives! I need to speak with you alone. <sighs> All right. Everyone back to whatever it was you were doing. Lock him up with Mr. Scarlet. All right, come on. In your door, come on now. I didn't do it! Rosa, please, don't do that. Emily! Why are you covered in dirt? Where have you been? A gravesite? And what did you see? A gravesite. Are you mad? What is that? Oh, this opal ring. How much do you think it's worth? It's not diamond show, but it is a good Miss consolation. Miss Pearl? Where did you get that? I dug up Jeremiah Scarlet's body, hoping to find the diamonds. Miss Gold said your secrets can be Miss Gold's, Gold's dead. La Gasp! <gasps> uh, well, somebody shut her up. She knew things, but that is not important. Right now, we need to use this as a distraction. What did she know? Have it up. Yes, Hargium owned the diamonds. Florence was there that day. It was a huge mess. Uh, Argem, that, that's not in the case file. <laughs> Even though they were the victims, Argem had committed so many business-related crimes back in the day that they decided to remove themselves from the narrative, not risk potential scrutiny. But years later, only a few people at the company still knew the truth. Myself and somehow Jaden. How did he find out? He must have made someone spill and then withdraw records, records I've been doctoring for years. So you think he sent this brochure? I know about your diamonds. Come to the Scarlet Sun. Earlier today, Florence was planning to confront Jaden alone. I should have stayed with her, but I went about playing tennis, getting drinks and abusing this free holiday and then... <laughs> Thank you for the truth, Rose. Let's go to Jaden and Adrian right now. I told you the Zurich Four would be more involved. I agree. I just want to talk to Amber first. Make sure that she's you know, all. You know, Enough too... of your personal bullshit. You're a detective, uh, and Jaden needs to pay for his crimes. I know that. He will. I, I Thank just. Thank you, I... Miss Morgan. That'll be all. Hey, Senora, it's me. Dante, I can't believe that while I was getting a drink, Florence was murdered. Speaking of drinks, you uh, got a good look at my expensive tastes, didn't you? Ah, uh, yes, I rather did. I was listening, you know. You didn't rat me out. Why? Listen. I've been a glorified secretary my whole life, seeing people richer than me around every corner. So I know why you'd steal them. Besides, my only loyalty was to Florence, and now she's gone, so... She is. But maybe we can use that to our advantage. Our advantage? Think of all the endless possibilities, now she's gone. Think of everything you want to do with me, now she's gone. I know that we'd be so happy together. 
Alas, the lass is dead and gone. And though it's sad, we must move on. And oh, it's so depressing. But I have a plan. We'll take the contraband and hand in hand to live life so grand darling let's go somewhere remote living like this limitless luxuries now she's gone soon the scarlet sun will be our histories now she's gone how good might be a listen, but don't miss it. Now is our chance. Miss Gold was old, the wits a lost. She was my friend, not just my boss. So oh, I might need a moment to grow. A hiding place like this gold suitcase. It's an empty space. Now she's condemned. We'll be smuggling the gems. Morning is so boring an activity. Now she's gone. How about it to deal with infidelity? Now she's gone. You came I came out of the blue To find a fellow like me At the scarlet sun And now that she's gone The two of us can start a new conspiracy Now she's gone Diamonds in the rough and now it's broccoli Now she's gone we survive, we're alive, so let's thrive. Now she's, now she's, now they're said you weren't a risk taker. Guess she was wrong. Don't embarrass yourself, Clark. <coughs> You'll be here for my lawyers. Please, this case is crystal clear. Like diamonds. Which reminds me, how about that brochure you sent to Florence? The whole reason she's here. I don't know anything about it, all right? I've got no idea why the old hag is here. I just know she was here. Dear Adrian, they're hidden in memory. Just listen. Oh, I'm done listening. This will was written specifically for you. What do you know about your father that the staff don't? Well, he wore an eye patch, a World War II wound, he claimed. Okay. Yeah. Took my mother's name when they married, which was him being progressive, he claimed. Oh, and he had no fingerprints. Chemical factory accident, he claimed. Oh, Christmas. He's really the perfect picture of a fugitive, isn't he? Something personal. Oh, you want to hear a lullaby he sang me? Je t'aime, amour. Je t'aime, amour. Ma fille, mon fils. Jasper, please let me know that the cops have turned me away. Emma! Jesus! Emma, Emma! Hey. 
Wine cup. Please tell me it isn't true. I'm sorry, Amber, but the evidence is all against him. The police are taking Adrian and him away tonight. Tonight? tonight? I just, I just don't believe Jaden would do this. I know, but. Oh, why can things just be how they were? When it was me and her, back to flowers in the summers we know. Why didn't we ever? Oh, the two of us, we should have stayed home. Only just a dream. <laughs> home in London with Jaden. Oh. Jasper, you need to move on. I know, I know, but, uh, but Jaden is- He's innocent. If you really care about me, then you'll do your job and find the real killer. Jaden! Ever, ever! You gotta know that I didn't, I didn't- I know. RGM's corruption affected me, all right? I never intended to turn to lies and, and blackmail. I should have told you everything. Oh, Jaden, I was angry at first, but the blackmail was kind of a turn on, so. <laughs> Look, if I get out of here, I'm leaving RGM. I don't work for those people anymore. Really? I promise, but if I don't, you still love me, even in an orange suit. Oh, honey, you know it's my favorite color. Yeah. But don't worry, I'm gonna find a way to get you out of here. All right, don't get him, babe. Jaden! So many detectives like Sherlock Holmes and Scooby Doo, and I dated Mr. Clark for a while so I could be good at this too. Officer, yes, ma'am. Do you need a helping hand? Please, sir. Well, damn, I can be your kind of man. Just a second to pick your brain Any questions, simply ask away How do you analyze and read a killer's mind? How do you stab someone a dozen or so times? How do you stand back and watch that sucker die? How do you, how do you, how do you kill somebody? Of course it's it seems he has a motive But somebody here must too Honestly, nobody really cared that she died Seriously, tell me, did you? Did you? Well, maybe we could still help her out He's open ear Please, Miss Davies, if you will It will be Mrs. Davies' quill When my fiancé is finally free what we need. How do you kill an old woman in a chair? How do you tip her out to tumble down the stairs? How do you witness that or do you just not care? Yeah. How do you, how do you, how do you kill somebody? Little gray cells are working now. And false trauma to the head. What if Miss Gold was already dead? I have a theory that instead somebody had placed a wet. Tennis racket! How do you prepare your 
yourself to do the dirty deed? How do you take your shot in the first degree? How do you not get caught when they start to bleed? Are you not covered in blood? Oh, how do you feel the thrill in taking someone's life? How do you feel watching the light leave someone's eyes? And you get off on that like that's some sexy prize, yeah. How do you, how do you, how do you kill somebody? Well, hope Emma found something for both our cases. You know, I'm glad you two made up. It would be a shame to cancel the wedding. I've always been jealous of... Well, never mind. Well, it's to our innocence. Not that anybody else cares. You know, we've really bought it in here. Yeah. I hope we get sent to the same prison. Yeah. Adrian. Adrian, Milo, what are you doing here? What if someone sees you? Did you climb up the bloody balcony? Oh, I used to do it all the time as a kid. Anyway, Adrian, you have to- I've told you why I can't. What is it? It's his alibi. You have an alibi? Oh, I'd do anything for an alibi. No matter the consequences. Yes! Hey, what's going on over there? I'll distract him. Adrian, this is your last chance. For what? To come with me. There's a boat at the other end of the island. We could- Run away? I'd be just like my father. Your father was guilty. You're not. I love you, but I can't live a life on the run. Why am I suddenly the one who sent here, Milo? I can't be my father. Live in secrecy, fake name, fake life. You saw how he was. Miserable. He would drink himself to death every night until it wasn't the bottle that he drowned in. Look, I never should have got involved with the others or your father's diamonds. I'm sorry. But let me make it up to you. Come with me. I love you. I love you too. Hey, what's going on over there? I'm looking at it from a new angle. Doesn't make it any easier. Nobody is on your side. You are soon going away. Even if I prove I was with you, wouldn't make it any easier. Evidence is piling, and there's no one else to blame. I know what they'll do to you. I know what they'll say. And who knows if this alibi will even save the day. Regret that choice If there was a way to live in a future One more every day I would miss your voice If there was a way I know just what I'd say It's a feeling I could never part Yes, if there was a way I wouldn't last a day I'd never have a change of heart you won't tell them we were together just to save your face. But if you risk your life on this, then let me take your place. I'm stuck on what to do, cause I'm the one who knows the truth. I'm only guilty for this feeling, and that is loving you. If there was a way to forget your feelings, would you ever pray that they don't return? If there was a way to live in a future, one where we could run and the rest could burn. 
And if there was a way, deep down I know you'd say You never have a change of heart So forget them, it's just you And I know what is true They'll finish what they came to start There's only one thing left to do and nothing more to say I just hope you forgive me for this someday If the way now I know I found it One more it is I who accepts your fate If there was a way there's no way around it I hope you understand when they said that day Yes, they'll take me now instead For they can have my head I know we never live apart Yes, they'll say that it was me And finally you'll be free For I'll never have a change of I am not ashamed of us Don't be afraid, love I wish I could stay But I won't have a change of heart Heart Okay, put the knife down. Um, you're coming with us, man. Up the stairs, nice. What? What is going on here? Well, Mr. Demantis, he just turned himself in for the murder of Ruby. What? My lord, there's no way that he. Wait, wasn't it Adrian? I'm so confused. After all that effort, I went to with the knife. This is ridiculous. Oh. Let me speak to Mother right oh. No can do, ma'am. You might all have to run it by Mr. Clark first. I knew I'd find you here. <laughs> the bar's looking thin, Alex. But I managed to fix a drink. Want one? You're still on the clock, you know. It's too late, Alex. Why do you want this to be longer than it is? Something bigger is going on here, Jasper. All my PI cases before this have been infidelity or adultery. But now finally I've found something with a huge sort of connection. That's why you leave this to the experts. I've dealt with arsonists, terrorists, real criminals. What do you know? What about Zurich? Quite a lot. Thirteen people were shot down by a 45 caliber Thompson submachine gun. Another four were shot by a well rod. And... Oh, so you're a Zurich 4 expert. Is that why you took a case with no pay? Tell the truth, Alex. Fine. I saw your ad in the paper. You know a lot about the Swiss bank robbery, right? I know something about it and I need protection. I can't pay you. And I can't say much, but don't call back. They'll hear. Please. Come to the Scarlet Sun. Anna Zurich, finally a lead. I lost family in Zurich, Jasper. That's why I'm here, not just to protect Ruby, but for myself. You should have told me earlier. I never would have let you get involved. Excuse me, let me. You've been busy flirting like a schoolboy instead of focusing Oh, on... and you're completely professional, letting a gun with no safety on go off in the middle of the night. You haven't taken any of this case seriously. To you, it's just another day, but to the people involved, this is everything. This is too personal for you, Alex. You should leave. Not until I'm done. Detective, I need to speak with you right now. Milo has been arrested. Wait, what? What for? He confessed. Confessed to killing Ruby. But he's lying. I know he is. It's not him, please. Oh, Milo, you stupid, stupid boy. Petra, if he's confessed, then there's nothing we can do. Unless you have proof that he's lying. Avalyn! 
Avalon overheard Miss Gold say something yesterday. Something about one of the Zurich Four. Something that has implications about a past relationship of Jeremiah's. A ring? Jeremiah told the story of a girl he knew her from his days of service as a soldier, though I did not know her name. Mr. Scarlet owned a ring made of an opal luster and engagement ring fit for a lover. One of Zurich for his fame. And just with the scar across his face, yes, his story, it would change every time, every place that he told me with the bottle in hand. He would hold it and he'd lament. Just like the twist of a knife burning daggers in his mind He would find every time a reminder of his life His ex-wife, yes, I asked, but he never relented A newspaper found in Jeremiah's office Evidence now she's more than his accomplice Surely that's bad to prove connections in his crimes from the past to all the late. So we go back in time to 1940. Ah! <laughs> 
hands behind your head. Put your hands behind your head. Honey? Put your Honey. hands behind hey, hey, your hey. head. Why are you hey, hey, hey. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing We make a run for it. Our bits of diamonds will meet Fred, I know, and then... We can go wherever we want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's okay, we can work it out. Jemai, Jemai, what are you doing? Jemai, get back here! Get back, Jemai! Jemai, wait, get, you're not leaving! Jemai, get back here, you're not down! Oh, oh, no, oh, no! no. Ah. 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 So how did he end up in Corsica? Who was the contact? Well, you see. Petra! Jesus, what happened to your eye? It doesn't matter. Do you have the car? He, yes, one from the war, one I did mechanics for. So we head to the docks and then you leave for Europe? Change of plans. We're going to Corsica. We need to stay low, stay hidden. You didn't ask any questions? I thought it was something post-war or even Government related. When I read the will, I finally learned exactly what I had been an accomplice to. I screwed it all up. They're dead. If we're to believe what Florence said, then Opal was pregnant at the time of the heist. With Jeremiah's child. But then he got to Corsica. Hello there, stranger. Aren't you going to buy a gorgeous girl a drink? That depends. Where is she? <laughs> the same place as all the good men these days. Unappreciated. Would you appreciate a drink? Oh, so you do see a gorgeous girl. Maybe your eyesight isn't that bad. Oh, sorry. No, it's, it's quite all right. I'm, I'm Jeremiah. I'm Diona's daughter, Scarlett. Sylvia Scarlett. Scarlet, I like the name. Is everything all right? Jeremiah, I, I'm pregnant. We're going to have a child, and I already know what to name them.
Madeline, did you know about this? What, what are you talking Big about? The gramophone, it has a secret compartment. Ah! Oh, you serious? Mm -hmm. She's getting murdered! Oh God, Miss Knight! Stay back. I've got a black belt, I'm a fencer, and I've got a murder weapon. And I French, bitch, I'll cut you! Okay, enough! No one is killing anyone. Else. Speaking of, I found Florence Gold's murder weapon. It's a tennis racket broken at its hilt. Um, but this... Actually, that might be blood. Yeah, someone used it and tried to make it like an accident. And Jaden was framed. Oh, it framed someone like that. That is so terrible. Simply so terrible. Alex, please, Jaden is innocent. He didn't do this. Amber, um, I honestly don't know what to do now. No, that's a lie. I do have one more thing I can do. Sorry, it's sudden. I'm looking for a chauffeur. Ah, oh, I see. You can uh, get one in town. But where are you going? The docks. How are you supposed to go to the docks if the P.I. is there? You just act natural. We can disguise ourselves with Miss Gold's clothes. It's not like they fit in the suitcases. Are. We can't do this. Not now, Dante. We need to wait by our time. You're right. We need to be smart if we want to get out of here. Find someone else to draw attention. I won't let you do this, Milo. I can't let you do this. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Officers, wait a moment. I need to speak to the accused. Milo, I know you're upset, but please tell the truth. I am telling the truth. Mr. Clark, I killed Ruby, not Adrian. He is not the killer. Well, for goodness sake, no. It's my turn to tell the truth. God knows I've lied to everyone for long enough. Mr. Clark, Milo can't be the killer. Why? Because I'm a homosexual. <laughs> don't you see? I don't see how that helps me at all. Aren't you screwing the maid? Your father literally wrote about an illicit affair. Uh, uh, oh. Adrian, I didn't mean to pressure you. Why into... did either of you tell me? Oh, how did I never notice? You'd think I of all people. Well, I mean, we weren't sure if you were. <clears throat> Mr. Clark, I'm sorry I lied. The night of Ruby's death, I was in Milo's room, not my home. Okay, but then who did Avalyn? She uh, found them. She found where the diamonds are hidden. Who did? Oh, little Miss Knight. Uh, Jasper, here uh, you are. I found Florence Gold's murder weapon. Well, where is it? I gave it to Alex like five minutes ago. Well, where is she? Ha, ha, ha! She just left for the docks. Pretty suspicious, if you ask me. Oh. Wait a minute. A violet mystery. And now she tries to flee. It seems we've all been playing the blame. October 14th, 1974, The Scarlet Sun. I'm putting an end to this, with or without the law. Out them, I had a dream that I was out them. Right in the action, I'd be somewhere, making a difference in the world. Shoes of the cheating wives, the cheating husbands. So this will be my last resort. Yes, this is where I end it all. For I don't need them anymore, no, I can be 
your last resort out here I had a reason I was out here I had this chance and I was so near but it's too little or too late and they just want to ride me off but there are lines that lead I couldn't save the girl I cannot help myself For it's still me against the world So I'll try, I'll try But I know that I am still Stop right there. What are you doing, Jasper? Stopping you. You're taking the diamonds and running, destroying the evidence while you're at it. You told me you lost someone at Zurich. Is that why you're here? Revenge for your father? You're right. That's why you're at the Scarlet Sun, isn't it, Miss Whitmore? What? Do you think I'm Opal? She's dead. No. You're her child. Jeremiah's child. But that... Oh, you think the father I lost was Jeremiah? No, Jeremiah Scarlet killed my father, Sergeant Knight. Also, I don't have the diamonds. I'm here to stop whoever does, the old-fashioned way. What, with your famous marksmanship? Look, I really want to believe you, but there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. If that A didn't stand for Adrian, then Alexander's still the next best case. You're right. Alex, are you admitting... Alexandra Knight is the killer. If I'm the killer, then everything makes sense. Then not. The letter. The A. Oh, the, the, the door. The stairs. The, the diamond. The ring. The opal ring. And the gramophone. Oh. Shit. If I hadn't been so distracted, I would have noticed way earlier. Let's talk in the car. We have a reveal to get to. <sighs> Boy, man, now sit down and calm down, okay? Will, thank you, everyone, for being here. It's been a wonderful stay, despite the conspiracy, bank fraud, blackmail, grave robbing, obstruction of justice, and how could I forget murder? I'm <clears throat> sorry, murderers. But you got the killer in the end. Well done, Mr. Clark. It's not quite that simple, Scarlet, so sit down and listen up. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. How well do you know Miss Gold? She was cruel. Elitist. A bitch. Hey, only I can call her that. <clears throat> she owned RGM. And you were blackmailing her. Tell us, with what? I found out that RGM owned the stolen diamonds. There's been a cover-up for years. And as Rose told us, Miss Gold was there that day in 1948. When the Zurich Four attacked, she was held hostage. 
But what you might not have known is... Well, the woman who held her hostage was Opal Whitmore, Jemai's ex-wife, and she was pregnant. Pregnant! Oh, that is why you are such a bitch about the ring! But, but hold on! So Opal Whitmore wasn't just an accomplice. That's why you kept those newspaper clippings of her. Knight and I deduce that Opal managed to have her child in Australia before being captured, which means... I have a secret Australian half-sibling my father never told me about? What the hell? Jeremiah likely only found out Opal had survived after her death had been reported. And what was he to do at that point? <laughs> Drink, I suppose. Okay. What does this have to do with Ruby's death? Your wife is quite terrified. Terrified enough to hire me. But what was she so scared of? A staff conspiracy. <sighs> All right, fine. We lied to Adrian and wanted to get rich, but we only knew about Zurich like a month after Petra got the will. I knew Jeremiah was shady. After all, I had helped him hide. I wasn't even planning to stay here in Corsica. But then I found an infant in a hotel room, and I stayed because of... When I read the will, I was livid. Jeremiah had lied to me for decades. <laughs> wanted a cut of the fortune for me and Milo. But when we tried to look, we found nothing. I literally clawed open floorboards, but turns out it was in the bath gramophone the whole time. The bath? Wait! I'll ask again. Dante, you found nothing? See. Then why don't we play a game? Officers, what's in suitcase number one? Oh my god, I, I can't open that. That's Miss Gold. It's like, get... uh, 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 <laughs> Let's try again. Suitcase number two. What? No. Oh, please. Oh no. Ah! And there it is. Oh. Ah! Don't act so surprised. Mr. Garnett has known about these for quite some time. Hidden, uh, where exactly? Wine bottles, casks, stuff nobody checks but me. When the old woman died, I thought I could smuggle them off the island in her suitcases. Not like she was going to use them anyway. <laughs> but before that, Ruby knew you had them, and she was scared about what would happen if the others found out. Especially with your threats, Avalyn. Pardon me, it was not serious. <laughs> not serious. Two nights ago it was. Enter Ruby. Paranoid. Frantic. Unprepared for what was to come. And so she was murdered. But before she died, she managed to draw a letter, an A. Now, because of the rumored affair, I assume the A stood for Adrian. But Adrian was with me in my room that night. Why? Darling, the affair. They were both fucking Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, each, each other. other. They're innocent. So who did kill Ruby? That's simple. Alexandra Knight. You? you? Ruby was my client. I would have known where she was going to be. After all, she left a note in my room for me. But I never got the note. See, even though she left it in my room, it passed through the hands of many others. Now, who else saw the note that night? Raise your hands. Now, notice how my hand isn't raised. See, even though she left it in my room, I never got the note because... I removed it from room 204 because of the booking screw-up. There were bookings for five people that night. Knight and I, two for Quill, and one for gold. One for gold. So everyone whose name wasn't on the booking, who did Ruby assume Alexandra Knight was? Who's lying about seeing the knot and knew exactly where Ruby would be? You gotta be joking! No, you just lied. You found the note with me. But I didn't read it. I... It was clever, really. A little impersonation, a little impersonation, and improvisation. <laughs> Why would I want to hurt someone like Ruby? You didn't. You wanted to hurt somebody else. Your brother, Adrian. <laughs> oh, so I'm the secret love child. Go check you... my passport. It says 19. You said you played soccer as a child. Don't you guys call it football in Europe? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! Oh, 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 Everybody, oh, guns down! Oh, All right, shoot the oh, hotel's oh, namesake! Oh, oh, oh. 
Let's begin from 1948. <laughs> oh, that story time! I love this part. And, you know, when my mother was fleeing, flee, fleeing Switzerland, she dropped me off in an orphanage in Adelaide. For 17 years, I questioned who I truly was. Why I was so unloved. You know, it hurts to see others have what you so desperately wanted. But when I was 18 and leaving, the nuns gave me a letter from my mother. It explained everything. I knew exactly what I had to do. Now the journalist star, you know they won't let me tell you anything. Shh, I know about your letter. I know who you are. Tana, it's you. I knew you'd come someday. Your father, Jeremiah, he betrayed us. He left with those diamonds and was never seen again. He's alive? Must be. These guys would keep asking about him. I have a plan. Find Florence Gold at RGM. She's the last person alive who could have seen him. <coughs> you gotta find those diamonds. Take back what's ours. I've got the right contacts. I'll give you everything you need. We should have been rich and happy together. In France. And so, I became Florence's secretary. Her confidant, she told me everything. His face, his height, the injury he got, and with RGM, I had the resources to scour every piece of media in the world, looking for any trace of him. So that was your plan? Find Jeremiah, get revenge, and leave with his riches? Exactly. But for years, I found nothing. But then, Father suddenly died, and he was in the local papers. Oh, I saw it. A report. The drowning of a hotel owner. He was the correct age, wearing an eye patch, and... He was succeeded by a son. Turns out I had more family. I just had to visit. So subtly, I gave Florence the incentive. A brochure? I know about your diamonds. Come to the Scarlet Sun. Rose, pack my bags! When I finally arrived at the Scarlet Sun, I thought things would be simple, but... <gasps> So much scandal, the staff screaming about an affair, confusing room bookings and a note left in the room I was given. Based on context clues, I thought it was from Adrian to Ruby, a planned tryst. Hoping to catch Adrian or his lover alone, I grabbed his letter opener from reception and snuck into the laundry just before midnight. But Ruby had other intentions. Miss Knight, thank you for the discretion and for helping me. How can I help? I played along. You know a lot about the Zurich Four, right? Well, it turns out Mr. Scarlet, the previous owner, was one of them. And what's worse is my husband Dante has found the diamonds. Miss Knight, he's playing a dangerous game and I need protection. If the others find out, they'll kill us. Of course, it wasn't the staff she had to look out for. What, what was? My gun. You used the commotion to mask the murder. Yes, then I planted the weapon in Adrian's room using Ruby's key. I thought I was being so clever, but what I didn't realize was that Ruby had Jeremiah's will. Now everyone knew about Jeremiah's past. Not ideal. But then why Miss Gold? <laughs> well, I didn't really want to kill her, but she figured me out right before tennis. Rose, I've been thinking. If it wasn't Mr. Quill who sent me the brochure, then it must be you. <laughs> Why would I want to come here? Drink your tea, you old bat. Hmm. Now I see it. Mr. Scarlet's face in the hallway. Miss Whittemore's in the papers. Now look at your face. <laughs> Florence, you're having an episode. <laughs> Calm down. You think I don't know who you are? <laughs> you can put that down. We can work this out. <laughs> you know what your mother did to me? I'd turn you in, but I'd take a page out of your own book instead. It was self-defense. 
She forced my hand, my forehand. <laughs> when I finally met up with oh, Amber, I knew I had to find a motive real quick, and Jaden had the best one, so I locked his door and kept him in a convenient spot until I could act. You used me, the tennis mattress, you acted natural, an alibi. And then you dumped that body at the bottom of the stairs and unlocked my door. Then you came to the bar and mentioned the diamonds. You already knew about them, Ruby had told you. Well, with Florence gone, I had to hurry up and get close to you fast. Besides, when in Rome. Are we done here? Because as fun as all of this is, you're not leaving the Scarlet Sun. Oh, you'll all be saying goodbye to the Scarlet Sun. But I don't mean the hotel. Let's end tonight with the bang. One more murder. Jeremiah, the man that you all knew as our father, sold my mother that he'd never leave her. But then he left her for dead. And so like the twist of a knife, Burning daggers in my mind When I tried hard to find Where he hid and thought that maybe he died Oh, good riddance! But then I found out instead <sighs> And how is that fair? They live life in luxury I could compare To my family suffering So I won't spare Wait, Florence also had a gun. Adrian, are you all right? Oh God. Ruby was so close to stopping all of this. And now, she's gone. Well, I guess we don't always get our man. We get that woman. <laughs> I think my dad would be proud. Hey, uh, sorry for doubting you back there. And for a moment there, thinking you were the killer. Thank you, but it's fine. I was quite suspicious. Just promise me you'll be a little less smug next time. <laughs> and uh, I'll be a little bit less reckless. Promise. You know, if you ever need any help, you can always... I know who not to call. <laughs> right. Look, I swear I'm back to my normal self, all right? No more lovesick puppy. And I'm getting shooting lessons. I only hear Rose, because she stood still for two minutes. So after all of that, we get nothing? Those detectives didn't do shit? Alas, our conspiracy was for naught. My own staff. I just have to say, You're fired. 
completely Quit anyway. Petra, you're the new owner. You've been trapped in this hotel for years. You might as well get something out of it. We'll be escorting the diamonds back to Zurich. Hopefully they're more secure now. Thank you, officer. I'll make sure to bring our gem side of things to light. Before I quit, that is. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. You have to save my life. You know, I couldn't help but looking for clues. <laughs> so, where do you want to go next? I was thinking Australia. Ooh. Dangerous place after all. Spiders, sharks, murderers. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Actually, I think I want to go home to London. You've never been one to turn down a bit of travel. I know, but I think I just want to relax. You know, you write a book or spend all day yeah. in bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Mr. Quill. No hard feelings, yeah? I did uh, eventually prove your innocence. <laughs> all right then, mate. But if Amber invites you to the wedding, don't come. <laughs> Garnetta? Well? You lied to me. You threatened my life. Ha! Monaco, you, me, and that diamond you stole. Think about what you can do as business partners. I've got a scheme or two planned. I should probably check you all out. <laughs> should we be off then, Milo? Where are you two going? We're going to a cute little ski lodge called the Indigo Moon. <laughs> Hopefully no one gets murdered there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to say goodbye to this bellboy routine. <laughs> goodbye, Petra. All the best with Father's Hotel. <laughs> Goodbye, Milo. And my dear Adrian. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you.